We are here with Vietnam veteran Norman Bowker. He is a Bronze Star winner, and we are here to learn a little bit about the lasting effects of the war on him. So, Mr. Bowker, what is life like after the war? Life after the war has been different for me. I lived in Nam, and it feels like I'm still partly there. I tried to do normal things when I got home. I tried to go to college. I couldn't stay focused because nothing was real. There was nothing at stake, certainly not the stakes of a war. I couldn't focus on my work because there were no immediate consequences of my actions. When I was in Nam, there was immediate consequences. If I were to step in the wrong place, boom, my leg was blown off. During coursework, there were no life or death punishments. My teacher gives me an F. Who cares? I'm still alive. Life is so boring without that constant threat of death. Life is basically pointless outside of the, the war. I feel like I got killed over a nom, and I can't adjust to life back here. God, this is starting to sound like some jerk-off vet crying into his beer. But I promise, I ain't a basket case. I spent my days driving around town and can't think of any damn place to go. How do you feel about other vets? I don't understand a lot of those other vets. A lot of them bitch and moan. I hate, really hate, all those whiner vets. They all want damn parades. Why would we want to be patted on the back by people who don't know jack about what it feels like to kill people or get shot at. These other vets complain about how they got they are treated. They want to be called heroes by the public, and they haven't. It pisses me off, guys sniveling. It's such absolute crap. I'm here trying to forget what I saw in the war. I don't want those idiots to clap for me. I just want to be normal. I don't know if I'll ever have the feelings of normal ever again, but that's what I want, you know? I don't know, man. How do you feel about valor, courage? <clears throat> Before the war, me and my dad had the same feelings about valor and courage. It was all about the recognition. I won the bronze star, and all I wanted to do was win the damn silver star. My dad would have been so proud of me, but I couldn't win it. After the war, I don't really know what valor and courage are, you know? The war seems pointless to me. I watched my friend die, and it was my fault. I feel like that night when Kiowa got wasted, I sort of sank down in the sewage with him. I don't know. This valor and courage seems kind of like bull to me. Do you have any lasting effects from the war? Well, I mean, haven't had any bad dreams. I'm the same old Norman. I guess I'm basically A-OK. -okay. Home free. I have nothing to bitch and moan about. I'm alive at home. I have all my limbs. I'm not a cripple. I miss some of the war buddies. I guess I want to meet up with some of my brothers and have a good long bull session. The thing that has changed most is how people treat me. They don't treat me bad, I guess. I guess sometimes people act too nice, too polite, like they're afraid they might ask the wrong question. Why are people so afraid to offend me? I just want to be normal. That's very interesting, Mr. Bowker. Have people actually started treating you differently? Yeah, you'd be amazed at how they look at me. Like some kind of convict. It makes me sick. I'm not easily offended. Thank you very much, Mr. Bowker. I know this is probably very difficult for you, but it was helpful for us understanding the war. Thank you again for your time. No problem. Thank you, and good night.